Loops are an incredibly powerful feature introduced in the Uncanny Automator Pro 5.0 release. To explain what loops are and why they're so powerful, let's start with the typical recipe that you might find in Uncanny Automator. In this recipe, we're using a form submission trigger and sending the contents by email. When a user triggers it, the recipe runs once and one email gets sent. But what if you want to send an email out to several users at once? You're stuck. Now check out this recipe. We're using the same trigger and the same action, but this time we're saying send this email out to anyone with an active MemberPress VIP membership. It really does mean everyone, not just one person. That's what loops do. They loop through and then run the action on any objects that meet the criteria. So if there are 300 users with an active VIP membership, this recipe will send out 300 emails, all from a single form submission and one recipe run. Let's walk through this a bit further. This first section in blue says to only target non-admin users. There are other filters too, which you'll see here. At this level, the first level filtering just helps us better target users broadly and help the recipe run more efficiently. The next section lets us add our actions and our action conditions. In this case, I'm using a member press condition, but lots of other conditions are available. What's shown will depend on what plugins you have installed and what apps you have connected to Automator. Loops aren't just for sending emails, of course. You can run any action you want. In this next recipe, we're actually using an Automator recipe to create an instant report in Google Sheets. In the front end, we have a reporting page set up, and when a user clicks a button, the recipe loops through all non-admin users and checks for any users that are enrolled in a course but haven't yet completed it. For every user that matches that criteria, this recipe adds their email address to a Google Sheet. If you're wondering if running recipes that loop through and run actions on potentially thousands of users can slow down your site, the answer is no. All loop activity runs in the background. It's divided into small batches that your hosting can handle, and it slows itself down as needed to make sure everything completes successfully. Automator also includes a way to track progress of loops as they're running. When a recipe is executing, you can visit the Automator logs, see the progress, and even cancel a loop partway through processing. The logs also give you a way to see exactly what happened for each loop iteration. This is what it looks like while a recipe is running. You might be wondering if loops can then generate a lot of log data and they can. If you have a lot of recipes with loops, you might want to think about some of the pruning options under Automator, Settings, General, and Logs. Loops are an incredibly powerful tool that put Automator in a class of its own when it comes to workflow automation in WordPress.